So in today's video, I thought I would do a digging for dogs where I'm going to screen stocks to see which ones are beat up. And then I'm going to throw them in AI uh, perplexity to do a little bit of sorting, if you will. So, so let's see. I do this every once in a while. I'm going to go screen for the losers just to see what's cheap. So we're going to do over two billion. This is Finviz. We're going to go market cap. And then we're going to look at performance and just so you know, these are some of the winners <coughs> for the year. Some stocks are over 600 and 500%. Uh, let's let's do it by large cap. Change my mind. Okay, and then this list does include Nvidia, which is one of the highest volume stocks. So now let's do the inverse. We're going to look to buy value, so we're going to do it the other way. And if we look at the dogs, what I found was interesting is some of the some of the stocks that I track are on here. So Baidu is one that that is on here. So it's one of the large cap dogs. Intel is another one. So now what I want to do is look at valuation because it's it's not useful to us to only look at the dogs that are down the most and then pick from there. We have to do some analysis to pick the best of the dogs. So I'm going to try to do it in perplexity. I'm just going to look at those 10. I'm going to copy that. And let's say, help me analyze these stocks. And I'm going to paste the data and see what it says. Okay, so it's already giving me some data. Okay, Rivian is in there too. Now I know some of these companies lose money. So I'm going to tell it, uh, please rank these stocks. Optimize for book value, for book value first. I want a bargain like under one or two under one book value then for highest earnings low PE this year and forward year <clears throat> so it's going to try to rank them. It does a good job. So Intel, Intel is here because it's low book value. I do know they have a lot of, a big balance sheet with debt. So I'd have to do some more digging on that. This is a steel company. I think it's South Korean. Price to book is way under one. So this is useful. Now, Warner Brothers has a huge amount of debt. So this wouldn't be a complete analysis without looking at the debt. But this is a good way to start. Now, it didn't include Baidu, which is actually a really good, a good value stock, according to my research. So I, I would probably want to give it more data. Maybe the financial. So now he 
here's more data on the previous stocks. Okay, so I want to weed out debt to equity. Oops. So let's see. So Intel isn't that bad. Please re-rank the, the list of stocks and, and optimize for book value. earnings and remove any that have high debt. So would this be faster than me having to do it manually is a real question. Now it's saying some, okay, good, Baidu's now on the list. Let's go look at Lulu real quick. Where is, I think it is a good value, but let me just look at the, where's the book? Price to book is seven. So. I don't think it's doing what I was hoping to do. So given the data I uploaded, rank the stocks by price to book lowest first. Let me see if it'll do that. Is that true? So let's look at the list again. Valuation. Hmm. Rank all. Rank, see, it only did 10 stocks. Rank all 20 stocks by price to book lowest first. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to say remove, remove any stock with a debt, debt to equity ratio over one.
So now it's giving me 10 stocks. Is, is that accurate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Should have given me fourteen. Now let's look at the remove remove any stock with a forward PE higher than twenty. <clears throat> okay, so that list of 20 stocks has now been weeded down to six stocks. And let me see. So now there's six stocks. rank these stocks i'm just going to ask it a wild question rank these stocks in uh in order of highest growth potential highest growth first Now oh, see, no, see this is where it, it got thrown off. Well, I'm just going to edit the question and then rank by highest growth potential. Okay, so not a bad list. So we have Intel with a price to book of 0.70, expected to grow 30% over the next five years, their earnings. Is that true? Let's go to Seeking Alpha, punch Intel. So yeah, over the next five years, Intel could have a high, high growth rate. So you would have to verify all this. But hey, if you're looking for dogs and you don't want to be in the S&P or Nvidia maybe because they've run up so much, this might be a good way to do research on your bargains. So you still want to go verify. Like here's Baidu. I'm a big fan of Baidu. Um, there's not supposed to be a bunch of growth for Baidu. So that is accurate, roughly, you know, seven, eight, nine percent. Let's look up uh, one that I, I don't know well. This one doesn't have high growth. I don't know why it was ranked there. APTV. Let's look at that. APTV. That one is supposed to have high growth. 
I'm just going to look at that one real quick. Why is that one so beat up? What is, what is it? Vehicle components. Ireland. What's the debt situation? It was supposed to be weeded out. Total debt, $7 billion. See? I guess it's not so bad. They have $2 billion in cash. That's not too bad. It's a low PE stock. What's the enterprise value? $23 billion versus 18 cap. So, where's the book value? 1.59. So the book value isn't as cheap here. Let's look at uh, APTV. See what we get. Tangible book. So it looks like that would be Finviz's fault. APTV. Book value 1.59. So that's actually. the fault of Finviz. So garbage in, garbage out. Lee Auto. L-I. Let's look at that one. <clears throat> that one is beat up. Chinese EV. Relatively low PE or in line with the market. Price to book 2. Whoa, a lot of cash. That's interesting. So that would be very, a very interesting stock. I've never seen this one before. So Lee, Lee Auto. Here they, they say they have four billion in cash. Price to cash flow, not a bad stock. So price to sales one, PE 13 right there. Let me look again. Looks like 13, 13 billion. Let me shrink this so you can see. Thirteen billion in cash, two billion in debt. So it is very attractive. Cool. I would not have found that if I didn't dumpster dive these stocks. Where where did I find it? Yeah, okay, so that's a great find. That was worth it. That was worth this exercise. So thank you. I did have to go line by line. I'm not going to go through these other ones. Uh, I'm just going to take that as a win and move on. So that is how you do it. Obviously, it was clunky, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, let me know some feedback.